the non-uniqueness of voltage in an MQS system can seem paradoxical. Yet, it is essential to the behavior of a common transformer. This experiment emphasizes this by showing how the voltages measured by these leads and the oscilloscope are path dependent. Here's the ground lead of the oscilloscope. Here's the top trace lead. And connected to the same point is this bottom trace lead. A magnetic flux is created in a toroidal magnetizable core by driving this winding with a sinusoidal current. Here's the ground lead. And we'll use a dual trace oscilloscope to display the voltages. Here's the lead connected to the top trace. And then this lead is connected to the bottom trace. The voltages observed with the leads connected to the same node not only differ in magnitude, but are 180 degrees out of phase. The ratio of the voltage magnitudes is 3. This is the ratio of the resistances. The probes are connected to the same node, and yet the voltages differ by a factor of 3 and are 180 degrees out of phase. We check to see that we don't have the traces on different scales by reversing the trace connections. Reversal of the leads results in a reversal of the traces. Faraday's integral law accounts for this seeming failure of Kirchhoff's voltage law, for how it is that different voltages are measured by probes connected between the same nodes. If the probe leads follow the same paths, the signals should be the same. If we remove one of the leads and then connect the other one to its own ground, after having looped the lead through the core, what we see is this. Just as the series resistors form the secondary of a transformer, so now the lead itself is a one-turn secondary. The measured voltage is simply the time rate of change of the flux through the core.